Can we? Okay. It's gonna kill my flashlight for a second. I already know what's about to happen. I'm gonna see something really thin appear from behind a tree. Oh, what is? Ooh. <laughs> oh, I love that sound. All right, guys, it's time for some more horror. I hope you guys are ready because today we're taking on something that looks quite simply horrific. Now, I didn't actually discover this. It wasn't on my radar at all, which is quite unique for stuff like this because I'm all over it usually, but my friend Ski actually told me about this. So I want to give him props. There's a link down to his channel in the description if you want to check him out for yourself. A big thank you to Ski because this looks amazing. I'm going to explain what the developer says even before reading the description. So this is what he says. While UAP and UFO sightings in Hungary have been scarce, with only a few reported cases, an overwhelming majority of approximately 90% of these sightings have been concentrated in a specific remote rural area. As a Hungarian, I've always found it intriguing how little is known about this region of my country. With only a few small villages scattered throughout, it remains relatively unknown. Their stories served as my primary inspiration during the development of this game. This game contains flashing lights which may not be suitable for photosensitive epilepsy. This game is a work of fiction. Any similarities to actual organizations, events, or persons living or dead are purely coincidental. This game relies heavily on alcoholism, drug abuse, abductions, depression, and you will play as a mentally ill person. This game features manual saving only. Alright, I thought it was pretty important that I read a lot of that stuff out, guys, so you know what we're getting into. I don't think that's what we think it is. I mean, it could be. <laughs> it's mesmerizing, whatever it is. Music's so good, too. Oh, it's so good. Oh, look at this. I mean, right off the bat, this looks incredible. It's clearly giving us some kind of idea that we're struggling. I mean, look at this. Ooh, what is that? Like a drone or something? Oh, no way. Oh, that's so sad. Feels like such a kick in the chest, like this, this helplessness feeling. 
Oh no. Oh, this is us. We're in. Where are we now? What is this? Wherever we are, the car's not doing so good because we're almost out of fuel. Look at the visuals. Wait. Can we actually move this? Oh, yeah, we can. Okay. I was going to say that at the beginning, but I didn't want to, like, stop the tone of what it was trying to tell us. So, so sad, but... It clearly painted a picture of what was going on there, what what that character was going through. Ooh, all right, slow down a little bit. Felt like it was getting its drift on. Yeah, I can't quite put my finger on, like, the, the style of this. It's very, very beautiful, whatever it is. Like, that dark, dingy, but really crisp-looking scenery as you're driving through, like, a what is this, a wilderness? Like, a an old, run-down area or something? Yeah, look at that. Got buildings off to the side. Water towers. 1932, October 9th, near Dunahunt, Northern Hungary. Okay. I hope I'm saying that right, by the way. If, if I'm not saying it right, somebody please let me know in the comments. I do tend to butcher names, places, that sort of thing. Yeah, this thing is so tail happy. It's, it's going to go at any second. Look at this, though. This whole rundown area. Where are we going to? What we're looking for? I mean, I don't mind if it is just this, like... Traveling through this really creepy, cool-looking spot, but... Sooner or later, we're gonna run out of that stuff. Especially with it flashing. Just gonna hear that, like, classic ticking sound of it just coming to a halt. Just wanted to stop a second, see what we could hear. Can I stick my head out? No. God, the visuals in this, they look so good. It's re Oh, no. Oh, did I wait too long? It's spluttering. I've been driving red for an hour now. Yeah, that's got to be a sign to... Are we pulling over? Probably not a good idea to do this, but... Can we make it there? To this spot? What's that? Just a little mile marker or something? So many questions. Go through the tunnel. I hate these. Just narrow enough for like one vehicle at a time. I hate them. There we go. There we go. That's good. She's so tail happy though. Like if I give this any more gas than I'm doing, I'm going to be <laughs> just doing donuts into this town or wherever we're going. Feel the bumps in the road. Oh yeah, no, she's giving up. Look at that needle. Almost empty. <laughs> Come on, easy does it. If we can just limp to a gas station, that would be perfect. Oh. What's happening? Yeah, it's... Yeah, it's giving up. Come on! No. Oh, wait. No, we can't get it going. Okay. What we gotta do? Oh, look at this! Oh, this stuff is so cool to me. I'd love to be able to do this. I don't think I've got the balls to do it, though. Like, just go out and adventure around the world in, like, a little uh, mini or a camper like this. What's all this business? What is that? Oh, we saw this in the, um, in the apartment at the beginning, her stuff. She's always crafting. Always had some project going on. This controller, well, it's the only thing she left before she disappeared. That made me jump a little bit. This is a control- Oh yeah, look at that. Just what controllers are going to look like in the future? Take. That thing looks amazing. It's like all pieced together. Look at that. The little batteries on the side with the circuit board. A little copper wire on the end. That looks awesome. Right, take. To equip the controller. Look down to use it. Okay. 
So look down. Look at this business. So this basically gives us a readout and I guess it's like our inventory as well. Maybe collectibles too. Oh, there's so many like different spots. Look at this. I can select all of this. Like then it takes me to whatever this is. Oh, there's so many things. <laughs> I'm going to get so mind blown with this. All right. Let's back out of that. What are you? Flashlight? It's a really weird looking flashlight. Some kind of attachment system. Yeah. Let's take it though. F a flashlight makes sense. Oh, it's a nice bright one too. Oh, you guys have no idea how happy that makes me. What is that? Look at those cozy little slippers. All right. Let's see. Do we need to pick our, our jacket up or something? This place looks abandoned, but I'm out of gas. I should check it anyway. Yeah, 100%. Can we, can we not take anything with us though? Because if we're going to a place that we don't know, it'd be better to... Oh, okay. So we get to like actually physically move it like that. I love that. Especially in horror. All right, what's this? Tank is empty. needs gas. And then it's bringing this up. Okay, got it. So if we find gas or something, then we can we can put it in like that. <laughs> Look at this. I'd really love one of these. Again, I just haven't got the balls to do it. Go around like Europe and America and stuff like that. I really would love to do it. Maybe one day. What's the point in this? <laughs> We're going to take cover from the road. Is it the gas moving in? Can we... There we go. Get back down. I don't want to take any damage. Ooh. Ooh, what are you? The moon? It's a little bit bright. This does look incredible, though. Look at this. Oh, <laughs> yes. I'm already so into it. There could be things... Well, I shouldn't say this, but there could be things watching me from either... Episode one. Oh, it's episodic. Okay. The hum. Is that like the bloop? Mysterious sound from the ocean? Gonna come across some noises, which I am hearing right now. Uh, something far off that way. Trying to break open what's going on in this town and why it's all so run down and abandoned. I mean, it looks, look at this. That looks incredible. It's this golden gasoline and service. Okay, this is where we're gonna find what we need if there's anything here. I'm so paranoid, though, that it's gonna, <laughs> there's going to be things coming to attack me at any second. I really don't know what to expect. What's this? Fuse box? Can we open it? There we go. And... What did that do? I mean, we should have a look around. A little flashlight. Can't get in there. Wait, can I open that? No, I think when the... Um, little icon appears on the screen that's when we can interact with stuff oh I heard that I'm not really seeing any batteries for my flashlight either which right now makes me very very happy I don't have to worry about that can't go in there definitely not open I could spend hours looking at all of this and I know a lot of you guys could do, like, too. Like, the, the whole detail side of it, I really love that we share that same interest. But I know it's not going <laughs> to it's not gonna make for very good watching. So <laughs> I'm going to try keeping the, uh, keeping the pace going. Find out what we're, uh, what we're dealing with here. Yeah, the lighting is everything. What's this? Is that all the missing people? Ooh. Something over there. Oh, what? Is that... That's a giant wall. So this area is completely quarantined then? Oh, I th I'm, I'm getting a little bit too ahead of myself. Let's find out what's going on. Can we sprint? Yeah, we can. Okay. Can we go in this? Oh, shit. Surely we can squeeze through that. Come on. Fight. Switch it. Like that. <laughs> Get out of the way. Grab an object. Oh my god, I'm being so loud. Then open this. Quick escape if we need it. Alright, what we're we looking for? Anything 
to get the power on or oh is there any gas or something heard the tipper tapper of something up there then can we like open anything or oh what's this Dunahunt village in shock as disappearance remains a mystery Dunahunt hungary a bewildering incident has plunged the small village of Dunahunt into disbelief a bus carrying 24 children Two teachers and the driver encountered an unexplainable fate during a day trip to a nearby town. Witness recall a strange silence followed by a blinding flash of light. When the light dissipated, the bus remained motionless on the road, but everyone on board had vanished, except for two identical twin girls who were miraculously found on the bus. Wait a minute. In the very beginning of this, when we saw that really sad scene, there was two ladies, like, it suspended in air. Is this us? However, authorities were taken back when both girls claimed they had never seen each other before and denied having any siblings. Authorities believe that the girls might be in a state of shock, struggling to comprehend the extraordinary events they experienced. As investigators tirelessly work to unravel the mystery, they are exploring the background of the twin girls for any clues that could shed light on the baffling situation. The close-knit community of Dunahon is grappling with the shock and confusion Families, missing children, adults along with wives. I can't see that. It's really, really bright. Community are filled with questions and uncertainty. I love that. Storytelling through this this way is, is so cool to me. So everybody went missing. Were we the... I'm saying it's we. Were the girls, I should say, the only survivors? And it said they'd never recognized each other before. Like, even, like they were doppelgangers or something. Maybe they weren't sisters. They were just... Oh, that's so loud. That's definitely intentional too. Oh, I can't open that. I've got to do it. I'm so sorry. Okay. I <laughs> oh no! My chaotic nature. Dude. <laughs> get out! Get out of there quick. <laughs> Somebody's gonna beat my ass. No, I'm not doing that. <laughs> right. What's this? Oh yeah. There's definitely something there. Is that for my little controller that I've got? I'm so tempted to go in there. Oh no, I feel like it's going to be death. Look at this though. Oh, the visuals. Oh, can we throw this? Oh, here we go, here we go. If a dog come out then and start chasing after that, I think I'd have a heart attack. I'd probably chase it, try to stroke the pupper, but... Can we go around here? I'm definitely going to go back there. I just want to explore everything I can, okay? I, it's not like I'm going to explore every inch of this, but I will try... I will try to have a look around. I watched something not long ago about a couple of hunters where they were describing... Oh, can we not go further than that? Okay. They were describing the thing that scared them the most when they were out in the wilderness. Now, these guys were like, what, five, ten years deep in terms of, like, experiencing the wilderness and things. So, noises were all familiar to them. But the one thing, and the reason why I looked over there a second ago, the one thing that always creeped them out was the bird sounds in certain parts of the woods. They would recognize a lot of the bird calls. And then it, in certain places, I forget where it was. I want to say it was North Michigan. It could have been Washington. But they were talking about something mimicking bird calls. And you could just tell that it wasn't quite a bird. It was something mimicking it, trying to bring you in. Oh, my God. Oh, I shouldn't have told that story. That damn near gave me a heart attack. Hello? Oh. Is this gas? Hello? Man behind the door. Just take it and leave. Oh, look at those creepy little fingers. What are you doing? Why are you not showing me your face? Yeah, it's like a little little top of a... Thank you, but... I mean, I'm definitely taking that. I don't think it has... Oh, that's what this is for. It's just for item placement. Okay, we'll put that there. Can I talk to him again? He's not very friendly, but I should talk to him more. Okay. What? <laughs> I mean, he's being disturbed, so I get it. Empty jerry can. I'm here. I'm here looking for a church. Have you seen my sister? 
Wait, so this is us then? That article was talking about us. We were one of the children on the bus. And then we had a twin all of a sudden. Wait, let's start with this one then. I hope I can ask all of it. Thank you, but the jerry can, it's empty. There's still some gas left in the garage. I'll unlock it for you. Thank you, but I'm here looking for... Refill and leave! <laughs> Tonight, things are not as usual for them. What do you mean? Just hurry up. For them? Oh, no. So there are beings here, and people here know about them. So obviously that paper, be being old, I guess people have got used to something happening in this spot. That's why it's quarantined. Okay, let's say... I'm here looking for... I don't understand this, so let's ask this. I'm here looking for a church. I said leave. Okay, I'll go, I promise. But I really need your help. I'm looking for a church. Actually, I want to get inside the zone. I heard there's a hole in the first wall near a church. Hmm. It's further down the road at the end of the village. Take a right turn after the church. But if I were you, I'd turn back while still can. Okay, so that's going to be our way into the zone then. I think we had one more to ask. Have you seen my sister? I'm looking for my twin sister. Yep, yeah, there it is. She looks just like me. Red hair, same height. We even share the same scar on our faces. She disappeared two weeks ago. And all the signs lead to the forest inside. Have you seen her by any chance? You waited two weeks before looking for your sister. The search parties were called off by the police yesterday. I wanted to come early, but they wouldn't allow it. They didn't let anyone here because of the poisoning in the... I haven't seen or heard anything about your sister. Weird and unusual things are happening here all the time. Many people go missing around here. Most of them will never be heard or seen again. Unusual things. What do you mean? This used to be a happy place once, you know. Until... I think we know what that is. Just look at it now. Never mind. Just leave. Please. As I said, it's not their usual home tonight. Ooh, that's really ominous. The towers. They're humming. Don't you hear them? Something is about to happen. I don't hear anything. Soon you will. The longer you spend here, the more you'll hear. Hurry up. That was really, really creepy, that little interaction then. Okay, so we got a little bit of story then with the whole twin thing. Did we get cloned when the... Well, I guess when there was like an abduction experience? I don't know what I just said then, by the way. Abduction is what, <laughs> is what I meant to say. But in some weird kind of way, did we get like brought up with the rest of the kids on the bus and then somehow we got cloned? I don't know. I'm just trying to piece the puzzle together right now. It's not making sense. Why would it? That's what I love about this subject, too. Like, th there's so many angles of things that you think you can understand. And then, to be truthfully honest... Ooh. To be truthfully honest, nobody knows. That's like whenever you see... Oh, I hear the hum. Oh, no, is it this? Look at that with the birds up there. Whenever you see somebody on, like, TV or you hear about someone who claimed to be... An expert on UFOs. <laughs> an expert on extraterrestrials. Like, what? <laughs> what? Who did you get that from? Who made you an expert in that? Because that doesn't exist. Like, they, there can't be an expert in that. It's just, there's no way. But, I mean, I like to think I'm a bit of an expert. So, who am I to judge? I don't think we could get in there either. I am going to check. There's nothing in there. You said the garage. The garage is around the front, right? I think I saw that. Can't get over how cool this all looks. Lighting is just... It's amazing. I love it. Oh. Is that a weird visual thing? I think it might be. Okay. Oh, here we go. It was the thing we opened before the fuse. Can we move that? Get out of there. Ooh. There was a sound that... Oh, no. What was that noise? And why is that swinging? Oh, that's so... 
It's so cool, but it's absolutely terrifying. This is where we die. <laughs> Look at this. Oh my, I just got chills over my entire body when I heard that. Is that the man inside? I'm not pressing that. Oh my god! What's this? A natural remedy infused with healing properties, combined with other ingredients to consume intravenously. Ooh, okay. Yeah, we'll put that. <gasps> I just heard a door open. Can I press this? I used to be able to play the uh, the Mike Myers sound, but I can't do it anymore because I've completely forgot it and I'm under pressure. That is so loud. <gasps> what? <laughs> oh, it's like emulating when, you know when you grab the like either side of the stand and you pull yourself up? I don't know if I'd do that. Whoa. Are they trying to record that or something? So many questions. This is so cool. Nothing on that tripod. Yeah, people were sat here at one time. Long, long time ago, though. Nothing left behind. I am really looking. If I've missed anything, I do apologize, but <laughs> I'm kind of googly-eyed right now with my mouth wide open, <laughs> looking at all the shiny things. Oh, it's beeping. Okay. Some kind of tech or something. Yeah, look at this. All these hardwired cameras just looking straight up at the sky. Basically like a, an early warning sign, early detection for something. Cameras with extra long lenses on. That's terrifying to think about. Like if, if another species did come across <laughs> the cosmos to come and visit our planet. To think we would even have a chance. We would be turned into a skid mark so quick if that's what they wanted. And I really hope it's not. Like, I really hope that if that ever does happen, we give whatever it is a chance. I mean, I don't know. I, there's so many different facets to that. Like, <laughs> I probably shouldn't talk about it in case it makes people angry, but I'm really open to that, that kind of concept. I'd love it to happen one day. Oh, can we go down here? As long as everything's friendly and, like, we can learn from them and stuff, I think it'd be so cool. I know how I sound, guys. I know. <laughs> Just le le let me have this, okay? Ooh, wait. So what's this? Oh, so this is showing... Showing, like, what when they set this up or the pictures that were stored on this? Yeah, they were aiming at the sky. What's this business? What's that? Is that a craft coming in? So these are the guys setting everything up. Is that accident? I don't think that's accidental. That's not like a thumb or anything over the lens, is it? Sensor array registered highly aberrant sky phenomena. Preliminary data in for potential further analysis required. October 18, 2019. Monitors captured unconventional skyline displaying irregular characteristics. Investigation indicates additional research urgent. Remote cameras identify atypical above horizon. Oh. Yeah, this is this is monitoring the skies. And then it's given latitude and longitude on. Is this what they found and where it's gone? Or maybe how it's arrived? Yeah, the dates and stuff. I'm trying to fixate my eyes on something that I'm meant to be capturing here, but. If there's a code or there's like this sort of stuff here, the latitude stuff, that's where my eyes are being drawn to right now. But I'm not picking up temperature, inversion. There's a lot of big words in there. My small, smooth brain can't handle this. Detecting wind patterns and geomagnetic activity. This is so cool. <laughs> this is honestly so cool to me. I love this. Can we just get this crap out of here? Come on, move. Get. Oh, that's heavy. <laughs> Come on. Doing all these dumbbells, it's got to do something. There we go. Get that out of there, and then what? Can we can we scoot back round? I kind of want to go back up top. Yeah, that's gonna that's just another way around, isn't it? I'm gonna go back this way. And there's nothing that was left behind, and I definitely couldn't go across this. 
can hear a helicopter. <gasps> what do you have in that container? Oh, I really want to know what's in that. There's like a pulsating sound. Oh shit, is this... this bad? Like a moth to the flame, I really, really want to go over to that. And that is definitely an anomaly in the sky. That wasn't... I don't think it was that. I'm trying to rack my brain around if I saw that. I don't think I did. And the, the sound has just completely washed away too. Right, let's get back down underneath, see if we can find some gas. I think that might be our time to go. I kind of want to go out there, though, and have a look. Wait, can we not... <laughs> no, can we not go down there? All right, I think I've got to go back round. That's so unnerving, though, the fact that this thing just appeared. Is there another light that we're not missing there, or have we got, like, a little, little weird-shaped craft up there? Could just be the bottom of something massive. There's something pulsating back there. All right, let's go and investigate. Wait, can we not get down there anymore? What's going on? <laughs> Why is it not letting me go? Can't go that way. Can we just drop off the edge? Everything was kind of calm before, and I was I was relatively... Re oh, yeah, we can. Ooh, okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. I was saying everything was calm before, and I was relatively relaxed. Now I'm... A little bit nervous. Yeah. I think if I go over to that, I could be in trouble. Right, let me go back in here. Is it gonna let- it's not gonna let me, is it? Oh, you shit! It's gonna make me go towards this light! Oh, so cool, though. Oh, no. <sighs> when your state of mind deteriorates, enemies will find you easily. What? Oh, what is that sound? Can we... Okay. It's gonna kill my flashlight for a second. I already know what's about to happen. I'm gonna see something really thin appear from behind a tree. Oh, what is... What the fuck is that sound? Oh my god, okay. Oh, ho, 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 ho. holy show. I have got goosebumps going from my feet all the way up the back of my neck right now. That sound. That was, it sounded like something dying at first. And then, oh, did you see the trees bend when the, the light came in? Okay, right. Focus. Where we gotta go? Down here. And then, can we go... Who's that? Oh, was that... Was that him? That lived here? He said there was gas inside, right? Let me just double check. Can we switch to... Yeah, we do. We have that there still on, on slot number one. This thing is so cool. Right, let's have a look around. I feel like something was in here at the beginning. When we opened it up, there was like a weird noise. What's this? We're gonna get the generator going. I'm really getting like Resident Evil vibes from this. I believe this is the spot where I refill the jerry can. Okay, let's put that in there then. Beautiful. Gonna open the lines? Oh, okay, I see. Come on, come on. There we go. Oh, there's another one. Can we get you off of there? You 
all heard that. I don't even need to say anything. You all heard that. Oh, is it something falling on it? <sighs> okay, right. Get off. And then I'm making I'm making so much noise. Get that round. Oh, there we go. It's not as easy as it looks to kind of rotate things in this. You really got to give it some force. The handle seems to be missing. What is that sound? Oh, I'm not alone. I'm definitely not alone. Oh, no, please. If I hear that while well, I'm up top again. I didn't see a handle, though. There definitely wasn't one just lying around, right? There, there wasn't, like, anything that I missed. I'll have a look, see if there is, but... I'm pretty sure we've been thorough here. All right, let's go back. Ooh, God, the creaks of the rust metal. That shit is going to give me nightmares. Nothing back there. I mean, aside from all the spooky stuff that's happening, guys, I'm completely in my element right now. I love this stuff. I really, really do. Like, I, I don't know if as to go as far as to say this type of thing would be my favorite style horror. Not just the, the simple fact that there's a, there's a cosmic... Oh, wait. Wait, what did that say? Say goodbye to back pain? <laughs> what? Oh, okay. We gotta get this out of here. And then open this up. We're gonna find what we're looking for. Oh no, <laughs> why do we need bullets? <laughs> oh no. Yeah, I guess we'll just put them there. But yeah, the uh, the whole style of this, the way you have to uncover it, and the way it gives you that immersion <laughs> by making you do things like this. Oh, it just adds that extra little bit of suspense, which I think goes such a long way. What am I supposed to be looking for, though? Again, I didn't really see a handle anywhere, but... I will have a look around again. Maybe in here, did I miss something? Okay, so we can go back this way. Okay, so I've been pretty much everywhere at this point, apart from, like, here. Oh, oh, there we go. Okay, right. I was just about to say as well, like, the only spot that I really couldn't investigate... Oh, look at all the missing pictures. Yeah, the only spot that I couldn't really get to was here, because it was kind of blocked off. Ooh. Let's just make room here so if we need to <laughs> we can get out get this big ass box out of the way <laughs> open this up nice all right leave that there let's move some of this crap too i feel like every time i do this though every time i do this it's going to disturb something <laughs> just leave everything open oh no way have i got to go down there oh Another one of these things. Yep. Put that in. And 13.05. Nothing in the sky, I don't think. 30 minutes later. Oh, there we go. This is what we saw. That kind of same pattern as well. Oh, it's real close. Unless that's... That could be zoomed in a little bit. Yeah, look at this. Oh! I think I see that. Wait. Yep, that's definitely something circular there. And then there's more. Oh, I love this. That's so cool. And down here. Shh. Everything, everything is so fast. Why, why is there no, like, just carefulness to us? We're sprinting and, like, pulling ourselves up ladders and things at an incredible rate. <laughs> Can we just take our time a little bit? What is that? A syringe? What? Oh, maybe to combine these two together. Can we do that with that? And then that with... Hold on. Can we put... Okay, I guess that's staying there for now. I'll play around with that in a minute. I don't think I need it right now. Wait. 
Oh, that, that, that no way have I have to go through that, please. Here's where I turn the lights on. Oh, that's a generator firing up. Oh, that's so loud. Oh, it was the, uh, it was the car. Whoa. Wait a second. Am I here? Is, th is this what I'm hearing or is it? That's something else. That's something like deep in the mine or whatever this is. Okay, what we got? Oh, is this the handle I've been looking for? So, wait, did our twin leave this here? Because this is her tech, right? I think this is right. Let's close that. Oh, I can't close. Oh, wait. Oh, we can close it. There we go. Come on. <laughs> it's not as easy as it looks. There we go. And then if I do this now. Yeah, you're not going to. What is that? What is that? Am I seeing something there or is that something curled up? You guys seen that? Like, this is the knees there. This is like the back with something on it. And then the head. Some kind of duck or something. Maybe I'm, I'm seeing something there. But that definitely looks like something to me. All right. Let's go and put that on. Oh, yeah. There's just, <laughs> there's just no calmness about us. We're sprinting everywhere. Oh, my God. No! I don't like that. No, I don't like that. That scared the shit out of me then. <gasps> oh, run faster, please. Yep, something's been in here. That wasn't swinging like that before. This. And then... This thing here. Then I gotta do the whole twisty thing, right? Yep, come on. Come on, come on. Get it going. <laughs> there we go. Did we do it? Oh, it's giving us a little bit of fuel, I think. Take. Nice. Anywhere will do. Oh, I'm being so loud. You know what? No. I've got a feeling something is waiting for me out there, so... Nothing above. You know that kind of, like, fight or flight response that you can get? I've got that right now. I feel like something is just waiting for me to take one step out of there and then it's going to be on me in a heartbeat. All right, let's go. I want to see what's down here before we go. Play stupid games, win stupid prizes, but I want to know. So what is this thing then in the sky? What are you? Is that simply just the moon or a, a star? I mean, I suppose it could be something like a UAP, UFO. I'm guessing this is, yeah, this is simply just the way we're going to be driving, right? Go through the gas station that way and then avoid that fallen tree or whatever it was. All right, let's get back there then. I just needed to know what was down this side. Let's get back. I wonder if that was the owner that we saw before that just totally dipped in a car or it was just some random people going through this area. I didn't actually check that door again to see if they were still there, but 
I'm definitely not going back now. Not with what I heard at the back there when that thing made like a... A screeching sound or whatever it was. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> I'm quite fine leaving that alone. This game features manual saves. Okay, I guess we should do that real quick. There we go. Throw one of them on there. That's actually quite cool too. Not seen that for a minute. Everything is autosave. Back in our beautiful little home. All right, let's get this topped up. The tank is empty and it needs gas. We can do it. Okay, as soon as I see the town, I should look for the church. It should be on the right. We all right? No weirdos here. Close our door. No, please close that. That's gonna bug me if it can't. If you can't do it, yes. <gasps> okay. We all right? A little bit of gas. All right, let's go. So the church on the right. Keep your eyes peeled, guys, on either side of this road, just in case. Ooh, I thought that was going to be blocked off, then that's why I wanted to slow down a little bit. I'm kind of tempted. Yeah, I'm going to go this way. Just to see if anything happens. Just go through nice and slow. Ooh. I heard that. I feel a little bit safer in the vehicle, but I really shouldn't. <laughs> like, there's no rhyme or reason why I'm safe in here, rather than being outside. Suppose whatever that thing was, it couldn't grab me straight away, or at least I've got something in between me and that thing, so. We good? Not really checking for traffic, just looking around. Let's keep it moving then. Church on the right, and then, based off what we said before, there was some, some kind of hole to get into the zone. Like somebody's made or something. What is this? No idea what that is. If anybody knows what that says, let me know. Let's keep it moving. The atmosphere is so, so good as well. I really don't know which side of the road I should be driving on either. I'm just going to hog the middle lane and just hope for the best. <laughs> oh. Guess we're going to find out what this glowing thing is. Weird signs again. Just random emojis on it. What are you doing up there? Oh my god, okay, that got me. <laughs> that got me out a little bit. What is that thing? I have no idea what we were just looking at then, but clearly all of this has got something to do with it. Okay, so the church should be somewhere around here on the right. So we're still in Donahunt, October 12th, Northern Hungary. Okay. What's with the emojis? What is this? Oh. That's definitely a church bell. So are people still living here then? Is that is that what I was hearing before with that weird like growl thing when I Here it is. I should park the van somewhere safe. Is this it here? Okay. Where would be safe? I mean, just at the front maybe? I don't think I can tuck it away. I guess here. <laughs> A makeshift car park or something. Oh. We're picking up a little bit too much speed there. I didn't like that. Oh, that's so real. That freaked me out a little bit because... Sorry to break immersion this second for everybody watching, but my neighbor has that exact alarm sound. And it tripped me out a little bit. I was like, wait, is that in this or is that in real life? All right. Back to the, uh, back to the immersion. What are we talking about? Of course, this is real life. We're in it. We're in the thick. So we can look through this type of stuff too then, right? We can just... Like, go through the drawers and find anything that... Oh, there we go. Look at this. 
Give me those bullets. Yeah, I mean, I'll take an extra two bullets. Why not? And we can stack them as well. It gives us six. Nice. And I'm going to have to do all this. Get rid of that. I can't keep this drawer open. I don't know how. Can we, like... <laughs> of all the things that I should be doing right now, worrying about how to keep a drawer open is not one of them. Alright, well, there's clearly somebody in there. Let's go and take a look. Leave the vehicle here. Leave the door wide open. Creepy alarm making sounds. Looks so good. What's that scratching tapping sound? Is it around that spot? Just keep following the trail. I seriously cannot get over how good this looks. Each new area that we go to is more beautiful than the last. What is that? What was that really weird pink glow? I'm trying to hold off calling everything alien until... Whoa. Ooh, listen to that. Wait a second. Wait, 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 wait. Did something just make the electrical line break and then it started flashing as if there was a shadow? Oh, no. It was this. Okay. Okay, yeah. There's a, a live electrical lines everywhere. <laughs> What's caused all this damage and destruction, though? Kill the flashlight for a sec. Is there something right there? Hello? Every time, guys. I know. The first wall. So this is the first one that was made to, what, make this a quarantine zone? I have to get in somehow. Well, this is the spot where we're looking for, right? There was apparently a hole around the back of the church that we could sneak into the zone with. Ooh. We're hearing something on the other side of it. Oh, what? Oh my god, the sound design in this too. I think somebody just took a picture of me then, by the way. <laughs> it was like a flash. You want me to crawl through that? That's old rusty barbed wire. Oh my. Oh, you could only imagine how painful this would be. Nope. <laughs> oh, please. Get out of there, please. Oh, I could feel that, like, claustrophobia kicking in. <laughs> so is this inside the zone now, then? Oh, look at this. Oh. oh. Oh, I hear that. You hear that slow, like, guttural clicking sound? Oh. What? Oh no, is this what happens when you spend a lot of time inside the zone? Is it like Chernobyl effect times 50 or something? God, 
God, that sound. I can never get enough of that. That deep guttural, like, almost like a machine sound. I love that. That wall is huge, by the way. You've got, like, one level here, another one, and another, and it looks like two more. Actually, even further than that. Yeah, look, it goes as far as the eye can see. Hello? I'm looking for my sister. She's got the same scars as me on the face. Tell me that's a witch's house without telling me that's a witch's house. <laughs> Look at that. I don't know if we want to go in there. The lights are on too. That's not me. That's definitely not me making that sound. I've got this feeling that I'm being watched. You know, while I'm investigating this, I feel like there's something on the outside just staring at us. Let's have a look around. Okay, we can get in from the top. Oh, we can jump. Okay, I was trying to do that before. Oh, God, that's so in your face. Not go beyond that point. Come on, let's keep going as far as we can. Can't see anything around there. Got all these old weeds out my face. Climb that. Let's go. <laughs> Super fast. No way in. Oh, there we go. Yeah, there's nothing like staring at us. Yeah, there's not. Okay. <laughs> I really had the feeling that something was. Can we just drop down in there? Nothing else at the top? Look at all this. It's all water damage and like old. You can smell this building. Jerry can. Oh, yeah. There's like a whole deal down there. What we got? They're going to get mad if I just... Okay, that didn't break. I really thought that was going to shatter into a million pieces. What is in those bags? Who's been living here? Oh, there's a furnace and stuff. So maybe there was. Yeah, there's a jacket as well. And the lights are on. I mean, I... I shouldn't be looking for logic here, but I am. I'm like, is somebody living in this spot? Whoa. Break your ankles there. Pick this up. Oh. Oh, there's... Yeah, there's something underneath that, okay. <laughs> I had to do it. Let's make some noise. I really want stuff to break. It'd be so much more satisfied if it broke. Oh. Right, I'm gonna have to get these big barrels out of the way. There we go. Another one. I wasn't joking saying that before either. You know when you see places like this? You can really, f like, smell them through the screen, right? It's not just me. You know that smell, that, like, moss, that, like, damp smell. <laughs> I shouldn't say that. There we go. Put that there. And what do we got? So this species, then, are they subterranean? like to live underground or something? Ooh. I'm gonna kill the flashlight for a second, because... Ooh. Can we go over that? <laughs> what are those sounds? And I always say this, but the simple, ooh, the simple fact that we, oh my God, look what I've got to go through. Don't do it, please, please, please. The simple fact that we haven't seen anything yet, it's just creating that tension. It's turning that screw for when the moment comes, I'm probably going to scream. <laughs> okay, I can't really see anything anyway. I'm keeping the torch on. Oh, this is horrible. 
What's this? Oh, a staircase. Come on, get up there. Oh, are these the towers that he was mentioning before that, that, that the home was coming from? What kind of... Wait, where did we just... Was it like a mine shaft then or something? Like an old one? Must have been. We gotta go down here. Oh, this is so bad. <laughs> oh, this is so bad. A lot of this so far has been like investigating, which I kind of anticipated it was going to be that because without it being super full on in your face, being attacked all the time, this is what you would have to do. It's something we don't understand. So we would have to break break down what we know, what we perceive is happening because it's never the case. That looks so cool as well. Look at that. We get in this? Oh no. No, no. He said if we stay here long enough, we'll hear the humming too, right? I remember him saying that. Can we... Can we grab that? No. My flashlight is throwing a tantrum and I hate it. Please. Just follow these big ass cables. See where they lead. I love that sound. My brain's doing that thing where it makes shit. <gasps> Is that just the wind blowing on the grass? I swear I heard something walking through the grass then. <gasps> I think it might have been the wind, but... Oh. Alright, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Can we run? I'm so braced! Oh, there's another tower there, okay. These are definitely the towers he was talking about. The hum, yeah, we can hear that now. Listen to that clicking too. We've heard that a few times since we've been here. That low guttural gl clicking sound. It's almost like a glug. That's what I was just going to say. It's like a glug and a click. It's not so much like the signs kind of noise, but there's definitely something similar to it. What's emitting light there? Is it straight up just... I have no idea what they are. I like the sound though. Right, well, let's keep it moving. Keep going. Is this what they're drawing power from or something? See, my brain right now... Ooh. My brain right now is like... It could be something to do with like a nuclear nuclear power plant or something like they're drawing energy from it or something like that and that's why all this craziness like with the animals and things radiation i don't think it is yeah the more that i'm seeing these weird towers the more the more i'm just like yeah nope don't overthink it just go with it and find out what it's trying to show you What do we do? I can hear a craft. Oh, look at this. Why are they suspended like that? What's happening? Oh, there's a glow over there. Okay, I see. Oh, oh that's so sick. Oh, I love that. What is all that? Oh, that's the pink thing from before. Oh my god, what is that? Oh no! Oh, I can't get away! What do I do? 
Just go towards the light, I guess. What was that thing? Was that some kind of, like, defense or something? Hold on. I think we should be okay. I, I, wait, let me have a look at my... Yeah, we're good. Bottom right corner there says we're all... Gr oh! Just go, 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 go. What's that sound? Is that us? That's our breath, isn't it? Yeah, I'm okay. The fluid motion of web. Oh my shit! Oh my god! Yep. Nope. I'm right there with you. You see the brain thing appear? <laughs> I was stressed, guys. I'm so stressed. <laughs> Everything was amazing before when I saw the craft go over, and now, now I'm complete panic. Oh, that's so cool, though. Come on! Keep going! Oh, that's some powerful wind! Can we get behind this? Alright, hold up a second. Yeah, look at that! I think I just gotta keep going. I don't think it makes a bit of difference. Come on! Oh! I see it there. Look at that. Oh! I see it. I'm almost there. Come on. Whoa. Whoa, wait, whoa, there's pe- What? I need more. I really need more. No! I knew it was going to end there. So, is it going to be released in stages then? Like like I was saying when we saw episode one, it's going to be <laughs> episodic. <laughs> so, we're going to have to wait for like a different installment or something. And I guess we're going to find out whatever that thing is. That's what a cool scene to end on though. With like everybody suspended in the air. I don't know what it meant. Maybe it's feeding off the the humans or something like that there's an energy or something that they get from us i don't know whoa oh wait maybe it's not the end then okay you know what i don't care how long <laughs> this video is gonna be usually i'm like i'm sorry guys if this is like three four hours long i'm not stopping this i want to see more oh listen to that too oh wait what Yeah, they've got to be subterranean then, right? Look at this. Oh! Oh, look at that big boy there. Oh, no way. Was that just like a little... A little taster of what's going to be in number two? We don't have the flashlight either. Oh, do I go down there? All right, <laughs> I've got to turn this up. There's no way I go down there. Please turn on. Please turn on. Oh, there we go. Look at that. I mean, I don't need to say it. You guys already know what this is reminding me on. And it's the biggest compliment ever to say that. So, so cool. Having to squeeze down here a little bit. What is this place, though? Like, 
That's similar to what we put the uh, the fuel in before. Can we go up there? Yeah, we can. All right, let's go back this way. I don't really know what's happening right now. Is this continuing on, or is it like a, just another example of what to expect when the next part of the game comes out? I really thought that was going to open up then when I stood on it. All right, let's go back that way then. There were stairs here, right? Yeah, there was. This is like, yeah, this is like the mine area. Let's take a look. Oh my. <laughs> oh yeah, we're flying up these. I guess that's a good thing. If we're being chased, we don't have to worry about our legs being grabbed on like ladders and things. I know you guys heard that. I definitely did. Oh. Oh. Nice. Yes, give me that. Take it. Whoa. So we got a pipe, the syringe. What is this? Yeah, place that there. Is that some kind of alien artifact? Yeah, when you can see it from the bottom there, it gives like a little bit of a description. A very old solid drive shaft. Partially filled syringe used for healing. Bullets. An old handgun. Hopefully it's reliable. Wasn't it this to switch through stuff? Yeah, there we go. So this is the handgun. Oh, look at that. It's right next to my head. So this to aim. Oh, look at that with like the whole depth of field and stuff on. Okay, right. Let me just quickly do... Oh, I can't save it here? Whatever happens, happens, I guess. Right, let's reload this up. Oh, okay. And there's healing stuff. Put that on there. I'm going to have to make a little bit more room, I think. More bullets. We'll take those. There we go. And hack. Oh, boy. I can hear something like screeching coming from down here, so... Oh, I guess we're going to get into it pretty soon. Oh, is that it there? Look at it. With his big bulbous head. Hey, big guy. Here we go. I don't really want to have to shoot him if I don't need to. Let's go and take a look at it. Oh, what is growing off the back of you there? Can I just leave it, maybe? I know what you guys are going to say. Oh my god! Don't you do it! It's going to end like that. There's no way. Wow. Okay. <laughs> wow. Thank you so much for playing my game. I truly hope you enjoyed the first episode and I can assure you that there is much more in store for the upcoming chapters. As of now, Cordosis Episode 2, I think that's Adit or Adit, I'm not, I'm not really sure how you say that, is around 90% finished and completely playable from start to finish, but this number can heavily vary based on your support. One of the hardest tasks while creating this game was to keep it within my scope, and the fact that you're reading this means that I have succeeded. Finally. However, with your help, my scope can be expanded way beyond its current limits. So we got the Founders Edition then. By acquiring the Founders Edition, you'll gain exclusive first-hand access to the second episode. I have plans to release it for you in its current state as an early access version, but it's coming together nicely and will be completed very soon, so stay tuned. Ooh! Thanks, Adam. Nice. I'm so into this, guys. I really hope you guys did enjoy this because... Even though a lot of it is kind of just a visual experience so far, you can clearly tell we're getting into something. Whatever that was, we're definitely getting into something there. So I guess if you guys want to see more of this when the chapters release, I guess we can do it episodically too. So I guess this one will go down as episode one. If you want to see more of this, you know what to do. Drop a like and let me know what your favorite part about this was down in the comments because... The, the most thing that strikes my mind at the moment was the first time we saw whatever that craft was in the sky. And then the blue light shot up. 
and all the sound drowned out. It was like, okay, I'm super vulnerable now. I love this, though. I really do. I don't have to keep saying that. I'm sure you guys know, but if you guys do want to see more of this, drop a like on the video, subscribe to keep up to date with everything, and I'll see you all in the next one.